The Cold War was a time of tension and uncertainty. The threat of nuclear war loomed large. The United States looked to its military might for a sense of security. At the heart of this arsenal was a fleet of bombers, ready to deliver a devastating blow if needed. Among them was the Boeing B-50 Superfortress. The B-50 is often overshadowed by its famous predecessor, the B-29 Superfortress, the plane that dropped the atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. But the B-50 played a crucial role in its own right. It was a symbol of American air power at a time when the world desperately needed it. While the B-29 is well remembered, the B-50 often gets lost in the shuffle of history. This essay will shed light on this underappreciated aircraft. We will explore its development, its capabilities, and its lasting impact on aviation. The B-50 Super Fortress was a product of its time. It was designed to meet the specific challenges of the Cold War. The story of the B-50 begins with its predecessor, the B-29 Super Fortress. The B-29 was a revolutionary aircraft, but it had its limitations. It struggled to reach the high altitudes and long ranges required for strategic bombing missions. The United States Air Force needed something more powerful, something with greater range and payload capacity. Enter the B-50. Though it looked similar to the B-29, the B-50 was a significant leap forward in aircraft design. It boasted more powerful Pratt and Whitney Wasp major engines, a redesigned wing structure, a taller tail fin, and a host of other improvements. These enhancements gave the B-50 the performance it needed to excel in its role as a Cold War deterrent. The B-50 could carry a crew of 11 and a payload of up to 28,000 pounds. It had a range of over 6,000 miles and could reach speeds of over 350 miles per hour. These capabilities made the B-50 a formidable weapon in the American arsenal. One particular B-50, nicknamed Lucky Lady 2, etched its name into the history books. In 1949, this modified B-50A, commanded by Captain James Gallagher, achieved a feat never attempted before, a non-stop around the world flight. This mission captured the world's attention and showcased the capabilities of the B-50. The flight took 94 hours and one minute, covering over 23,000 miles. Lucky Lady II was refueled four times in the air by KB-29 tankers, a testament to the skill of both the flight crew and the refueling crews. This historic flight cemented the B-50's place in aviation history. The success of Lucky Lady II sent a powerful message to the world. It demonstrated the global reach of American air power. The B-50 was no longer just a bomber. It was a symbol of American technological prowess and determination. Section 4. From Bomber to Workhorse. The Legacy of the C-97 Stratofighter. While the B-50 excelled as a bomber, its design proved to be remarkably versatile. Boeing recognized the potential of the B-50's airframe for other applications, leading to the development of the C-97 Stratofighter. This transport aircraft shared the B-50's wings, tail, and engines, but featured a distinctive double-deck fuselage to accommodate cargo and passengers. The C-97 quickly proved its worth, becoming a workhorse for the Military Air Transport Service, or MATS. It transported troops, supplies, and equipment all over the world, playing a vital role in the Korean War and other Cold War-era conflicts. The Stratofreighter's ability to carry heavy loads over long distances made it an invaluable asset to the U.S. military. The C-97 also served as the basis for the KC-97 Stratotanker, an aerial refueling aircraft that extended the range and endurance of American bombers and fighters. The Stratofreighter's legacy extends far beyond its military service, as its design influenced future generations of cargo and passenger aircraft. Oh, yeah.